Before we start the tutorial, just know this episode is just a segment of this Udemy course uh, that shows you how to make something like this. So you might follow everything in it. And without further ado, Yep, so that's the course that you are going to be, you know, buying in the Udemy and I've put a special link in the description. Without any further ado, let's go to the course. So now, what you want to do is select this and let's, you know, separate it. Like make it in the local view by pressing slash like this. And now what you want to do is select this part, the screen part and go to here. First, first go here and add it one and two and select this one and assign it right after you selected this one. Now, whatever we use in here, it's going to affect only this and just this and whatever we put in here will affect the rest. So now I'll put here a new material. We have a zero. If you have a zero before it, it means that usually is, you know, it's a material that it have no objects attached to it. So you can press that one where I'll just click new here and call this glass, glass, and we could make that one a glass. So to make a glass, you could definitely go ahead and change this to be a glass, but glass shader, but I'll just go ahead and enable the transmission to one and decrease the roughness like this. And yeah, that, that's about it. Just Yep, that, that's nice. So now what we want to do here is let's use this one and call this the eye or something real screen. The screen makes more sense. So I'll go here. So in this one, the trickiest part is we want to control the texture using an object. So um, I'll add an empty, empty and plan axis. Let's F2 this and call it, um, I don't know screen cnt means a screen controller so i'll just move this here to the front and okay now after we have selected this one i'll just go ahead and control t this to give us this and i'll click here and sh press shift s to change it to textures let's go to gradient Gra gradient texture that's nice so now what you can see is if I go here and let's wait for it to load hmm let's get back to EV and enable the refraction to see inside and go here and instead of a pick use alpha blend or something so we'd have nicer shadows uh, I think uh, alpha blend okay that came out of nowhere okay let's go now what we want to do is um, I'll just go back to the cycles view um, add a color ramp in here color ramp in here and press this and press this one so we have something like this so something that uh, you know the texture card uh, the texture coordinates are using the UV so we want it to be the object so now we have if I press try to move this you could see we moving this one but we don't want this <clears throat> we want it to be you know some kind of grid so i'll just add shift a add a separate xyz node plug it in here and combine xyz node and plug it in here so now we could remove the y-axis in here one and if i have changed this from linear to spherical we could see if I give it some contrast, we could see we have this kind of effect that looks cool. That's nice. Hmm. Good. Now, if I click here and move this, um, if I click here and move this, we could see we are using this one to control it, but this have no effect on it. This, the, this part have no effect on it. If we didn't separate it, let's say just use this one, the <clears throat> the how close it is with the object will determine what we have. So we don't want that one. We don't want this one. We don't want you. So 
<clears throat> now let's give us some, you know, nice look. Add a wave to wave texture, wave wave length texture. I don't know that one looks nice. And I'll connect this to the object here and control shift click here to see what is going on so we want to add a mapping node here shift d this and I plug it here and rotate this one 90 degrees here um for the scale we don't want it like that one details we don't care that much um detail scaling no roughness and stuff okay think we want it like this or something like that one that looks nice so I'll add a math node shift a and add a math node search it math plug this here and plug this one here okay and I'll delete this one shift a and the mission node we want a mission because the screen is just basically, uh, and we'll plug this to the strength. And I'll change this to multiply and add. If I view this, we have this. I'll enable clamping and um, yeah, make this zero. So we have a nice look like that one. Nice. Okay, I think the, um, the scale is a bit much in here. And I'll just shift D this one and use it here to give us a nicer look. I'll control it like this okay yeah something like that looks good <clears throat> so now we could just plug this one to here and we voila we have this um see lighting let's go here and change this color to blue or something like this and if i go back tada we have a robot and our perfect eye to go with it. But nothing is this perfect. You know, look at the glass. It's clean. It's clean. It's very clean. So we don't want it that clean. We could definitely use a texture and add a, you know, fingerprints or something like that on it. But we don't want that one. We want something, you know, subtle for, for the roughness. So I'll go back here and to the glass and I'll add shift A noise texture and plug this to the roughness in here now we kind of see it's kind of frosted i'll press ctrl t and use the object per go here that's nice let's give it more detail and go to color ramp so what we want to do is just dial this one down we want it a bit reflective like this Okay, that, I, I believe that is too much. Uh -huh. Something like this would work, but yeah. Yeah, that, I believe that is a bit much. Let's see like this. Okay, what is going on? This. Hmm. Just like that, and okay. I think this this is nice. Yeah, this is nice. So you will use same parameters. Okay, we'll use Shift A, add a mix RGB node here, and plug it in here. So now we could give it some kind of mix and i'll use one to this and i'll use some kind of color like this here hmm i i think we could just give it a little bit of um let's use this one as a factor with a full power nut you know this yeah this looks nice oh it's still not good okay i'll just give it some kind of look like this what is going on okay so it is giving us the effect but not quite the effect that we want i will add a bump node here with a little bit of strength height in here and bump to the normals 
with a little bit of that one going on. You know, imperfections like this are the ones that make it real, not the ones that is like, you know, I'll use a very low if quantity just to give it a notch. Okay. That feels nice. So that's definitely something we want we wanted to do. And yeah, we are done with the with making off of the robot that we are going to be using. And this is the eye. Ta da Okay. You guys have fun with it. I'll just save and see you in the next part.